Summertime means college basketball recruiting. Fred's here to tell us all about it. Building blocks for the future, no doubt about that. Hello again, everybody. Over 100 college basketball coaches are expected here this week looking to fill their future rosters, at least in part, with guys from the Eddie Ford Hoop Fest. Derek Forrest reports from the fairgrounds. So the 80 Ford Hoop Fest is known as the nation's oldest travel team tournament, and it's now been around for 35 years, and the biggest impact comes from the players involved in the tournament. It allows them to get in front of college coaches and scouts to improve their futures and potentially land a college scholarship. I think the beauty of this event is the fact that everything is under one roof. Um, so you've got a number of coaches that are kind of bouncing around from court to court, kind of evaluating the talent. Um, so I think it gives our kids at least an opportunity to uh, at least get in front of some of these coaches. Uh, and obviously, you know, some of our kids are trying to get, get scholarships and all that good stuff. So not only does the Eddie Ford Hoop Fest give kids a chance to get in front of scouts and college coaches, but it also gives them a chance to play against some of the top players in the country, especially considering this is the offseason and they can continue to tune up their skills. If you played with some teams or players you've always played with, if you played against teams you've always played with, you're going to be what you've always been. But if we do something to get you out of your comfort zone and get you out exposed to something you don't know what you're going to face when you walk on the court, you're, you're, you got, we got your attention. Right, we want to play the best. Uh, we know Kentucky has a good basketball history. And so far what we see, it, it, it's good. So we want to be part of that history. So the Eddie Ford Hoop Fest is for kids of high school age and teams from across 20 states have come here, including the country of Canada. Reporting from the Kentucky Expo Center, I'm Derek